Hey guys, it's Whamsey. Uh I go by James now. I don't really use that name anymore, but uh, it's been about four years since I made one of these videos, but I found uh, all this old footage on my laptop that I had made and for some reason never finished. It was really close. So I thought I'd finish it out and upload it for you guys. Um, sorry I haven't been very active, but I let school become my priority. It was a good choice, trust me. Um, if my voice sounds different, I didn't re-record everything, so this is like 22 year old me, and the previous recordings were, I think when I was 17, so I'm going to sound pretty, pretty, pretty bad, but I also have a new mic, so hopefully you enjoy this, and uh, maybe learn something. Hey guys, it's Whamsey here with a new 3D tutorial. This episode, we're going to be going over the funnel hover. It's a really easy maneuver to do, and the crowd really does love it. Now, before I get into the tutorial, I would like to say that I am using a new radio setup. I'm now using the Jetty DS16. I really like it, and I would really appreciate it if you checked out the link in the description. And also, leave a comment and a like. Thanks very much, and let's get on with the episode. A funnel hover is essentially a very tight inverted Harrier turn. You have your tail inputs and your aileron input. Your tail input, the down elevator and the right rudder, are definitely going to be the most easy part of this maneuver. Though keep in mind that different airplanes are going to require different amounts of input. The 3D Hobby Shop slicks I found do this maneuver very easy because you can basically put the sticks in the top corners and that's the correct input you need to give. Though some airplanes might require more elevator when compared to the rudder or vice versa. It's going to take some time and practice to get this down. The hardest part about the funnel hover is the aileron input you have to give. Since one wing is getting more lift than the other, you have to give the correct amount of aileron input to keep the wings at the correct angle and stay in the spin. This comes with time and practice, and the more funnel hovers you do, the better you will get a feel for exactly the angle your airplane needs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways to enter a funnel hover. One through an inverted Harrier, and one through a normal hover. They're both pretty easy, though the hover takes a little bit more skill. So, I definitely recommend learning this maneuver up high until you really get comfortable and learn how to control it. So let's take a look at some in-flight footage to see how this maneuver is done. Let's first take a look at the maneuver in normal speed. Now take a look at this video in slow motion. Next up, I'm just going to show you the uh, simulator views for mode 1 and mode 2 and in uh, full speed and uh, slow motion. So this will help you better see exactly what inputs are being given. I would mostly pay attention to the elevator and the uh, aileron inputs. The rudder is pretty much full bore one direction no matter what. Next up, I'll just be showing you a little different view as far as coming in uh, and starting from an inverted Harrier rather than straight from a hover. Mm -hmm. 
As usual, here is the uh, slow motion footage, uh, followed by all the simulator footage you should need to help better see all the uh, stick inputs. When coming in from an inverted harrier, it definitely takes a little bit more finesse. Um, you have to ease into the spin. Rather, from a hover, you can just kind of jam the sticks in the corner. Uh, this will definitely vary by uh, different airplanes, though. Um, the main thing about this maneuver is just practice up high or you will wreck. Uh, it can get out of hand very quickly, especially if your plane does not have a good power to weight ratio. Um, but it's definitely a crowd pleaser and it's a lot of fun as well. You can go both directions, but I'm only covering one direction in this video. I know this video won't be as clear as my usual videos, but I hope that it helps uh, some people that might be struggling just the different angles, uh, the simulator and the real life footage tend to help. Um, so good luck out there and happy flying.